can't beat you guys, but your guys got a better f you hand than I do. You guys control the media and the press, but um. What happened that day? I don't know what happened that day. But whatever happened that day, was there a new Mike Tyson that came the next day? No, I a week. I had to get high. I had to back down. Now, I'm just in the pain that I'm gonna have for the rest of my life, and, and by some way, a little as possible, I'm trying to. As it would happen, Tyson wasn't kidding about being on the verge of attacking Diddy, and here's why. It, it, it truly is about the Benjamin, as we see. Oh, yes, he's, he's literally. He's literally about the Benjamin. Yeah. Well, now, when we come back, we're gonna talk more with Puffy, and if you wanna hang out, more than welcome to stick around, my brother. Oh, All right, we'll be right back. And with everything that's been coming out about Diddy over the past couple of days, it seems this man might also be threatening him with his own experience. Hey, three, you still wanna f with me? In everything we've seen about Diddy over the past couple of days and weeks, it would appear that the rapper isn't afraid to bring his shenanigans to the table of even some of the most scary people. In today's episode, the person allegedly revealed to have almost been one of Diddy's victims is Mike Tyson. Yup, the same boxer who's won 50 matches with 44 KOs and six losses. That's who Diddy might have roped into his string of questionable actions back in the day. However, times are different and it seems just like all of these lawsuits springing up left and right against the mogul, Tyson himself might also have a story or two to tell about Diddy. Maybe surprising to many that someone with Tyson's pedigree would be involved in these details with Diddy. But if you watch the video yourself, you literally saw the man move away from Diddy. At the time, it didn't raise any eyebrows, and rightfully so, because it seemed like a random playful swat between friends. But knowing what we know now, it's pretty clear that might have been Diddy marking his territory. Altho Tison is one of the most furied athletes in the world, understandably because he's capable of knocking almost anybody out, just like he's had very high highs in his life and career. He's also hit rock bottom a few times, and guess who was waiting for him right there? One of the reasons that makes it so easy to believe all the things that have come out about Diddy over the past few months is that his behavior followed a pattern which makes it easy to draw a straight line from him through all the allegations brought up against him. And it seems Tyson might have been part of that line. It seems back in the day, the rapper, who was one of the biggest then, might have had to bail Tyson out of a few bad situations. And as is the norm with Diddy, as exposed by the suits against him, the rapper seems to have wanted a pound of flesh from the boxer. I mean, considering the depravities the man is reported to have gotten involved in by everyone from his past, being forcefully involved with Tyson might not be the strangest thing we've seen or heard, but the tides are different now and Tyson has been flying high for years. Is this finally the point? He opens the lid of what happened and by extension may just take Diddy's situation from possible jail time to confirm jail time. And my mother died, my father died, I'm on myself, I'm selling my body to these people and then these people tell you some stuff and you say, fuck <laughs> Yeah, I don't belong here. <laughs> At this point, you could say the fact that new people keep coming out with accusations about Diddy has made it easier for others who would otherwise have not spoken up to be encouraged to. This just might be the case with Tyson because as much as no one expected him to have been involved with Diddy, far less people expected the professional boxer to talk about it. Well, the reason this might be a threat to Diddy's freedom is that as recently as a few years ago, Tyson was in a bad place physically and much further down the line, financially. But today, the athlete seems to be in top form and there's proof. Only recently, Tyson gave an ominous display of his incredible physical condition as he prepares to fight Jake Paul this summer, suggesting the YouTuber may have made a grave error in challenging him. Earlier this month, Paul, nicknamed The Problem Child, and Tyson announced that they would fight on July 20th at the AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas. While people were initially worried about the age difference given that Paul is 27 and therefore 30 years his junior, Tyson's recent video footage from his training sessions has quickly dispelled those concerns. Nothing really says you're fit enough to tackle a music mogul like taking on a boxer half your age, right? As for why all eyes are now on Tyson exposing the rapper, it seems to all be tied to a recent video that started making rounds on the internet. But first, a question. Did Mike Tyson know? Sean Diddy Combs was under a federal ST investigation that led authorities to raid the rapper's properties in both Miami and Los Angeles. 
Amid this scandal, a video resurfaces showing an awkward moment between the boxing legend and the rapper, where Tyson clearly sets boundaries by distancing himself from Sean, a clear sign of what Diddy was capable of doing subtly on TV and that Mike sensed his intent immediately. If this was what Combs did in public, what wouldn't he do in private? This encounter between Tyson and Combs occurred during an appearance on Keenan Ivory Wayans talk show in 1998. However, it has gained new relevance amid recent allegations brought against the rapper. This seemed to have opened a can of worms against Diddy and his very controversial past choices. He just I knew him for a long time. Got it. And with you, he was chill. He was good. He was awesome guy. Yeah. While there has always been a curiosity about Mike Tyson's personal life, Recent discussions have brought forward one of the most significant topics, Tyson's S. Tyson, known for his involvement in various controversies, from biting an opponent's ear to struggles with de-misuse, has faced rumors about his S. orientation. But do you know who else has consistently been in the news for his S. orientation? Sean Diddy Combs. During a moment where Tyson boldly declared he would engage in certain actions until others liked him, delivered with a straight face, whispers about his S orientation circulated. Although many initially dismissed the incident, questions resurfaced when Tyson confronted rapper Boosie about his own S preferences, prompting renewed speculation about Tyson's personal life. You, know, you offend a lot of people, you talk about gay mother homos and fat. No, uh, no, a lot of times I need to It's just, it's just. Why don't you? Following their conversation, Tyson garnered praise for his willingness to address Boozy's hate speech. Many in the general public found Tyson's actions admirable, especially considering Tyson's own journey of self-discovery and struggles with a tragic and hateful history. Tyson opened up about his personal experiences on TMZ Live, revealing, I used to be Boozy. This admission not only hinted at Tyson's understanding of Boozy's mindset, but also shed light on Tyson's own complex relationship with his S, acknowledging that he, too, had once grappled with self-hatred. It was a poignant moment where Tyson shared his evolution and connected it to Boozy's own experiences, suggesting a path toward growth and understanding. However, this information became fodder for public speculation, leading to rumors that Tyson might be gay or something similar. A recent Profit Muscles video has only fueled these speculations, as it shows Tyson redirecting the focus onto Diddy, requesting more screen time for him. I got into the music business now. Yeah. Are you really? Yeah. yeah. And hopefully Puffy helped me out, you know. <laughs> While it could be interpreted as Tyson wanting to ensure Diddy received ample airtime, the true motivations behind this move remain unclear, especially considering the apparent chemistry between Tyson and Diddy on screen. Diddy and Mike Tyson, having a long-standing friendship and collaboration, seemed to share a genuine camaraderie on the show, and Diddy appeared to be enjoying their time together. Despite their seemingly close relationship, rumors of a romantic connection between Diddy and Mike have circulated perpetuating questions about Diddy's S orientation, with some speculating that he might be gay. For starters, social media influencer, entrepreneur, winemaker, and author Josh Ostrovsky, popularly known as the Fat Jew, has purportedly recounted a harrowing experience involving Diddy and his friends. Residing in the United States, Josh is well recognized for his various ventures, but it seems that social media has not always been a favorable space for him. Felt one way and a lot of people felt the other way. I sort of got kind of placed into the middle, it was like the face of the issue. and. I was, I was like, you know, the internet is for yelling and screaming. Josh Ostrovsky found himself facing backlash after allegedly exposing Diddy for questionable actions, which, given Diddy's typically positive public image, drew criticism from netizens. The incident unfolded at a party held on Star Island in Miami, the same location as P. Diddy's private mansion. In attendance alongside a prominent house producer serving as the party's DJ, Josh reportedly witnessed events that led him to speak out. The specifics of what he observed at the party on Star Island, particularly at Diddy's private mansion, became a subject of curiosity and speculation. You know, Diddy got canceled. With and I took ecstasy and I ended up wandering around with some mansion on Star Island and I ended up walking, I guess it was his mansion. This is something suspicious where Josh might have stumbled because he might have been scared of being recorded wrongfully. 
And to think of it, it is also very suspicious how a party can only have women while there are no men. But what happened afterward? Josh went to look for the bathroom. And with that, he just made his way down one flight of stairs and he found himself deep within the twisting corridors of the mansion. I walked in a room I shouldn't have walked into and I saw him like hooking up with a dude, basically like full spooning situation. This guy, Felix the house cat, who's like a producer, whatever. I then told the story on a podcast and then his people called me and were like, you need to say you were a joke. Well, you might know if two people lie like they are spooning, they must be a couple. But the party was beyond just men spooning. Saw it, and he saw me when I came in. Were you like, like a little scared? Yes, yeah, because everyone in the room like stopped because I opened the door and was like, "Is this the bathroom?" And everyone was like, "No, this is a room where like celebrities, like male celebrities, hook." That whole scenario could have been enough for Josh to clear all doubts that Diddy put on a show to invite women so that no one could find out what was actually happening behind the scenes. Besides this man blatantly admitting to catching Diddy in the act. There have been even more damaging tells in recent times that Diddy's past is filled with the wildest escapades with not just violence, but also S-related stuff that might have involved Tyson. Per reports, raids on Sean Diddy Combs homes in Holmby Hills and Miami have put a spotlight on the hip hop mogul and entrepreneur, including the multiple lawsuits he is facing. Several lawsuits filed late last year raised allegations of S.A. and R. against Combs, one of hip-hop's most recognizable names as a performer and producer. One of Combs's former employees, producer and videographer Rodney Lilrod Jones, filed a lawsuit last month accusing Combs of S.A. and leading a widespread and dangerous criminal ST organization, among other allegations. The suit was filed in federal court in New York's Southern District. Combs attorney denied the allegations and called Jones's claims lies. His reckless name dropping about events that are pure fiction and simply did not happen is nothing more than a transparent attempt to garner headlines. We have overwhelming, indisputable proof that his claims are complete lies, Diddy's attorney Sean Hawley said last month. However, the reality is painting a much different picture for us than that. It seems Diddy wasn't only taking advantage of people in his employ, but was doing so to virtually everyone he could get his hands on. And if the signs we've been seeing are anything to go by, it's almost certain he pulled the exact same thing on Tyson in the years the man was down bad battling addictions and D's. Now, the tables are completely different and Tyson might finally be pulling the curtains on this man's past, and Jones makes it clear as day. Jones alleges ST and SA, and also mentions underage girls in a 79-page lawsuit. Claims made by Jones include hidden cameras in the rap mogul's home, saying Mr. Combs threatened to eat Mr. Jones's face. One of Combs's employees named in the lawsuit, 25-year-old Brendan Paul, was arrested on drug charges Monday. The civil lawsuit claims Paul carried D's and guns for Combs. He's since posted bail. All of these details seem to have been tied to the music mogul's homes in Holmby Hills and Miami getting searched on Monday by federal agents with Homeland Security investigators. Now with the video and talks about a star like Mikey lending his voice into the case, like Cat Williams said, it just might be up for Diddy and even the fans could see it. One person wrote, his body language screams that he's uncomfortable. He makes an excuse to move Diddy's hand away from near his leg, then he moves sitting position and adjusts his jacket. Do you think he could still get away with it? Tell us in the comments.